Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and on today's episode, we're taking a look at another Legends in Three Dimensions bust from Diamond Select. And that means it's a big beefy boy here, so I'm gonna try and hoist this thing up. Oh, it's heavy. Actually, it's not. I took the statue out earlier because it really was enormously heavy. But hey, that doesn't matter because today we're taking a look at the Legends in 3D half-scale bust of Doctor Strange. And this is the Doctor Strange based on the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe version of Benadryl Cumbersnatch. And if there's one likeness that Diamond Select has done amazingly with when it comes to statues, figures, or really any version of, it's absolutely Wrangle Slum Spangle Sport. So I'm very excited to see how this piece is gonna look in person. But before we get to that, let's talk about this box here. And like I said, uh, I've already taken it out because otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this because these boxes are enormously heavy. It's a resin half scale bust. So half scale, for those who don't know, means it is meant to be half the size of an actual human being, which means a solid piece of resin like that is pretty darn hefty. But yeah, I'm not doing that here because otherwise I'd be in a lot of pain right now. So yeah, as far as the box itself though, it does come in a wonderful styrofoam container and upon opening up, you'll be gifted a certificate of authenticity for this piece as well. And that's important because it lets you know how many pieces there are, what number you got for this statue. And just so you know, Legends in 3D busts are limited to a thousand pieces typically, and that's what we're getting here with this one. It is a thousand piece limited edition. So there's not gonna be a ton of these out there in the world, so if you want it, I definitely recommend you pick it up as soon as you can. Now, as far as the packaging goes here, the boxes for really any resin piece that Diamond does are always pretty much the same. They're either a cube or a rectangle, and they usually will have an image of the statue on the front, and then that's about it. Uh, with some of the smaller resin pieces, you will get like images of them on the sides, but in this case, we don't. What we really only have here is just the Legends in 3D logo in gold, which does look really nice, actually. It looks really great. It does pop out quite a nice bit here. It just kind of does recede into this black because that black is just so dark. I mean, there really are no frills here in this packaging. What you're seeing is what you're getting here. It's just the abyss. And I guess that kind of works for Doctor Strange. But yeah, again, likewise on the top, you get the Doctor Strange logo straight out of the MCU. And on the back, this is where the box kind of starts to fail, unfortunately, in my opinion. And this is just a, a problem with, uh, well, really mainly the Legends in 3D line, but a few other statue lines have had this. But uh, can you read what's on the back of this here? Because I can't. It's not impossible to read. It's just very, 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 very dark. And that text that's on it just recedes right into that darkness because the gold is just not popping at all. And it's not really even a gold. Like it looks like on this, it's more of a burgundy maybe, or even a very deep dark maroon. And it just blends so much into this black here that the text is just completely lost. So yeah, you can read things, but chances are you're gonna have to strain your eyes quite a bit. And I know you guys are probably looking at this right now in the video and you're probably saying like, is there even stuff on this? Like, yeah, there is, like it's there. I'm sure you can probably see at least the littlest tiny bit of it. It's worse in person. You're really not missing a ton here though, because all you're getting is a very small bio and then just some information about what the piece is inside here. The only information that is really, really important that I'm gonna make sure you guys know right now is who made this piece. And this beauty was designed by Joe Allard and sculpted by Rocco Tardamella. And those are two artists whose work we've seen a lot on this channel in the past and we've liked their work very much. So I am excited to see how they're gonna handle Brandy Fork Snuggle Patch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this big boy right here and take a closer look at our Doctor Strange half scale mini bust. All right, so we got the Doctor Strange out of the box now and I'm really starting to feel the pain already. This is a very, very heavy piece. This is solid, this is heavy. This is like if we were playing a game of Clue, this would be a murder weapon. Like I killed Dr. Plum in the lobby with the Dr. Strange half scale bust. So I'm gonna hold on to this for as long as I can, but uh, yeah, I don't have any mystical powers to help me support this thing and not get a hernia. So I'll try and get through this as fast as I can here. But my initial thoughts on this piece are, this is an absolute beauty. Like I was not kidding what I said earlier in this video. When the team over at Diamond Select sculpts something of Boondock Crumpet Shack, they absolutely nail it. I don't know what it is about this man's face and his amazing name, but whatever they're doing, they get it right every time. They always knock this one out of the park. And I don't like to use that phrase, but it's absolutely true. This one is a home run as far as likeness goes. But even beyond that too, even the outfit is correct. The painting looks great. The colors look wonderful. The base is amazing also. There's just so many good elements about this piece here. I don't even know where to begin with it, but, but I think the best place to start is gonna be with that likeness. I'm gonna ask you guys the question now that I ask in all my statue reviews, does this look like a bumblebee cucumber patch? And I would say that it's an absolute rousing yes. Again, like I said already, this is like one of the best likenesses that Diamond will ever do. And that's, I just mean in general with this guy's face, because for whatever reason, they get this actor right all the time. They don't ever mess it up. And the bigger the statue gets as well, that means the more detail to make it even better and better. 
One of my favorite PVC pieces that I think I had in the channel last year or the year before was in fact of Doctor Strange and it looked amazing. And now having so much more real estate to work with, the facial sculpt is just that much better. I can't believe it, but it's true. I mean, this thing totally looks like the man. And not only that, it really very much reads like Doctor Strange also, thanks to how they painted the hair, thanks to of course the beard and the goatee, the eyes, the facial expression. Like this just not only reads Doctor Strange, it also looks like Bumble Kink Humble Sack. This guy must be like the easiest person to ever sculpt because no one ever gets his face wrong. I love the furrowed eyebrows, I love the expression on his eyes, and by the way, the paint job on those eyes too is really wonderful. It's got this really great shine to it that makes it look a lot more lifelike. And even on top of that too, I mean, you guys can see there's wonderful texture and pore detail all over his face and his skin. We've got ridges on his lips, we've got little crinkles in his nose, all sorts of tiny, tiny details that make this guy just look so much better. Like this absolutely is a 10 out of 10 if I was gonna give it a grade for sculpting. And as we move down to the piece, I think that grade will remain because the body as well, or I should say the half body that we see here, is also perfect. I mean, talk about detail, this guy has got it. Of course he has the signature Doctor Strange cape that's draped over his shoulders with the collar up because he is the Fonz of Supreme Sorcery after all. But it looks wonderful, and there's so much great detail and texture in this here, too. You know, you know, you talk about tactile sensations with a statue or an action figure, that kind of thing, and this bust has really got it. Now, to be fair, this is not the kind of piece I'd recommend you do like what I'm doing here, which is holding it up in one hand. That is a very dumb thing to do. But if you are touching this piece and posing it or doing whatever you're going to do when you place it in your display shelf, you're going to really enjoy that experience. And I know it might be a weird thing to say, but tactile sensations are not just good for the touching, they're also very important for the statue standing out. And case in point, coming back to the statue now and the fabric here, the cape especially, there's so much going on here. You've got this great texture, this sort of weaving pattern on the shoulders that you can see here. You've got then the cape itself on the back, which has this really great ridge, almost coral-like texture. It's a smoother kind of coral, but it does have that kind of like feel of a, of a hard sponge perhaps even, but it's a very different, unique kind of texture and it adds something really special to it. And the fact that it is so unusual adds a lot to the mystical elements of this Doctor Strange piece too. There's a lot of different textured patterns here on the cape, not just that, but even the shirts that he's wearing has some great texture and wonderful sculpting to add on to it because it really does look really cool and looks very lifelike. But of course, one of the big standouts here is that Eye of Agamotto, which is right here across his neck here that he's wearing. And that is a really, really cool addition also. Aside from it being sculpted very well, it's some excellent tiny details there again. Uh, it's got a great color to it. And not just the metallic finish, but also just the eye itself. It's a very cool looking piece that's really, really well done. And I should add too, the paint job across the board is so cleanly executed, there's no slop anywhere. You know, and for a piece like this, which is about $200, you wanna make sure that there isn't slop like that. You know, I think this is the $175, $200 MSRP. You're not gonna find any little mess ups or any mishaps on this guy here. No happy little accidents. Doctor Strange gets it right every time. I wanted to find something to nitpick about as far as like sculpting or the paint, but there really is none. I mean, it's great. It's very simple to the point, but gets the job done. And even with the red and blues, I mean, they kept it very simple and very primary, but it really does work. Now, one of my favorite pieces of any statues that Diamond or really any company out there does are the bases. Bases are always really important to us. And this Doctor Strange one in particular is really, really nice. So this again keeps in line with the whole mystical idea of Doctor Strange here. And it's a bunch of fiery swirls coming up to basically form Doctor Strange at the very top of them. The base is made out of a transparent orange plastic, which also has some different toning in there to help add more dimension to it. But not only that, it's just very solid and very cool looking. And it's a great shape, this cone that kind of helps funnel the eye upwards. Uh, and also really helps because when you look at this piece, you'll notice that Doctor Strange's shoulders kind of flare out. But otherwise, it's really a straight up and down vertical kind of piece. So it's these flared shoulders here that kind of help draw the eye back in, leading you to the eye of Agamotto, and then back and throughout the rest of the piece. So really great choices here across the board that have done a wonderful job with it. But that base is just so cool looking. I love holding it, I love touching it, and it just looks really great. And this is one of those things where if you have a really nice setup and you can do this, I recommend getting some LED lights underneath it and just popping it up under there and making this guy really light up. Now, unfortunately, there's not like any little holes inside this thing. You could drill into it if you wanted, but if you decided to do that, you would be losing uh, this information here on the bottom. And this is the number. All the statues come numbered on the bottom of the bases. So you already have that COA, but if you wanted something else to make sure you knew the number of your piece, just go ahead and flip your guy over and you'll find the number right there. So overall, this Doctor Strange bust is like one of the best Legends in 3D I think that Diamond has done so far. And the strength of this piece lies really not just in the head sculpt, but everything else. But to go back to that head, yeah, it's absolutely one of the best things out there. The pores, the facial expression, the sculpting, the paint job there, the hair too is outrageous. 
that you'd be hard pressed to find any version of Bobble Quart Dingle Snack that's not looking good, but they absolutely got this one 110% right. And yeah, that is actually possible. Down to every last little pore or every single hair that they've painted onto his head and face, they nailed it. And likewise, they did the same with the outfit. It's one of the most heavily textured and really nicely detailed pieces, I think, in all the Legends in 3D so far. The Eye of Agamotto is gorgeous. The base is really exceptionally wonderful to look at. Everything about this piece is just perfect. Now keep in mind, this is a Legends in 3D half-scale bust, which means it's going to be more expensive than the average PVC piece based on materials, based on weight, and a lot of other factors here. But you are paying for that quality, so you get what you pay for here, and this thing is not a disappointment. If anything, this actually exceeds my expectations. So I'm giving this a definite recommend. So if you're someone who's collecting Doctor Strange things, or trying to get the MCU, or just a fan of really excellent busts, this Doctor Strange has absolutely got what you are looking for. Now if you want to pick up this piece for yourself to add it to your own collection, why not check out my affiliate links in the description of this video below. I got some links for a few more places you guys can find this Doctor Strange, and if you click on any of those, it helps support this YouTube channel at no extra cost to you. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been our look at the Legends in 3D half-scale bust of Doctor Strange with that likeness of Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, I, I know his actual man was just screwing with you the whole video. I, I, I'm probably pissing off like everybody out there, but I don't care. It's a lot of fun. You, his name is hilarious. Normally I'd be like, hey, leave me your thoughts on what you think about the statue down below, but I'd rather hear you think about some cool names for Benedict, so go ahead and leave some of that down below in the comments too. But that's it for this episode. We will see you guys next time here on Nerd News Today with more statue reviews, toy unboxings, and everything else we do here on this channel. We'll see you guys next time.